Hi, my name is Ashwin Rajagopalan and I am the curator of Bhakti, the Art of Krishna here at NMACC in Mumbai. Bhakti, the Art of Krishna is an exhibition that talks about the entire story of Krishna, what he has taught us and our own paths to our spirituality. The artworks in the exhibition span almost a thousand years and have been chosen to illustrate the various stories from Krishna's life. The exhibition is in two narratives. Firstly, it is the story of Krishna and his life itself and what he has done. The second is the artwork that is on display that helps you understand all the various people across time, how they have shown their bhakti towards Krishna through their art. So we start immediately when you walk in with this phenomenal work by Raja Ravi Varma and this particular image starts off by telling you the story of how the Lord is born. So when you have come to this next floor, you have crossed the Yamuna River in a stormy rainy night as Krishna did where Vasudeva brings him to save him from Kamsa and we have taken that journey with him and now we arrive in Gokula where we learn about Krishna as a baby, how he grows up, his bond between him and Yashoda and between him and all his friends and his gopis, his brother Balram. This floor tells you that story. So this floor talks about Krishna and his teachings. This floor is actually a little bit of a machine that takes you from who you are to being a better person. This room that we are in here now is called Manasa or the mind. And we want people, visitors, when they walk in here to feel a little disoriented, to feel their, what how their mind is confused, uh, to make them realize that, you know, sometimes we're not able to get things together. So much like how Arjuna, when he entered the war at Kurukshetra, was extremely, extremely afraid to go to war, didn't know what to do, and he broke down. This room represents our mind. It represents our state of mind and how we all have to somehow, through the teachings of Krishna, steady our mind. We have exited the room called Manasa, which is our thoughts and our mind. We have entered the room called Vacha, which is words or our, what we speak. It also represents the word of the Lord. And this is the room where you get to read very important parts of the Bhagavad Gita. It talks to us in the battle of life that we go through every day about how if you perform your action, if you do your duty, if you believe in the Lord, you will be able to do everything, achieve everything and with it arrive at certain peace. When you learn the words of the Lord and finally understand that He is everything and everything is Him, your actions also become aligned with your mind and your words. So this room, Karmana, talks about how through our manasa and vachara, aligning with our karmana, we will be able to achieve anything. In this floor, once you have seen Krishna's life and his teachings, we hope that you will find your bhakti, your spirituality, your connection with yourself and your connection with the supreme energies, the supreme beings, the supreme powers that be. On this floor, we have recreated nine shrines from across the country, each telling the story of a particular temple of Krishna in a particular form and why he was there and why he is worshipped in that way of how bhakti towards the various aspects of Krishna have manifested themselves in the various temples that we see around India.